Avoid this big mistake when you move to Dubai. So as you'll know, I recently moved to Dubai, well, recently I've been here over a year now, but when I first got here, I made this massive financial mistake. Now basically, it cost me quite a lot of money. And I'm gonna share it with you today so that you guys don't make the same mistake when you relocate to Dubai as well. So you're probably all sitting there wondering, well, what mistake did you make, Josh? And the answer is, basically getting sucked into the law of Dubai. So absolutely, Dubai is a fantastic place. So many Bentleys, Rolls Royces, designer brands all over the place that actually it's easy to come here. And as somebody who's relatively financial, financially successful, you, know, you can afford these types of things, you thought, well, why not? You know, you've recently just become tax free, you've slashed your tax bill, you've got so much more disposable income, so let's live a little. And ultimately, I ended up getting sucked in. So in terms of buying designer clothes, getting nice cars, driving around G-Wagon, Rolls Royces, yeah, it was absolutely fun at the time, and I wouldn't regret it, essentially. But now, being here for over a year, I've kind of got bored of it and got past it. And I've realized that it probably cost, you know, close to 100,000 pounds on extra and necessary stuff, when actually you don't need that type of stuff. So it's, what I'd say to everybody is, as soon as you move to Dubai, just stay focused. I moved to Dubai because it was going to help me build wealth. I was going to use the tax savings, as I still am, to invest in UK property and build up my net assets, build up stocks and shares, buy other companies, and ultimately build my personal wealth and the family office. Well, still, we're still doing that, but it's easy to get distracted. I just don't want anybody watching this to make that same mistake. So absolutely come to Dubai, make use of those tax savings because ultimately they are fantastic and they do help you build wealth, but just keep focused and stay level-headed. Here it's so easy to go out and spend a thousand pound, two thousand pound on a night, cars, designer clothes, but actually stay focused, stay humble essentially, and use that money to build your personal wealth because most people, they don't want to be in Dubai forever. For sure, treat yourself a little bit, but remember the long-term aim, the five to 10 year plan, because my five or 10 year plan was basically to build as much wealth as possible and going out driving Rolls Royces, buying crazy expensive designer goods, that doesn't align with that, so why am I doing it? Well, actually, it's just to try and keep up. You see everybody else doing it in Dubai, you think, okay, I can afford it, I want a bit of that, but ultimately, we're all on different journeys, so you need to stay true to your journey, which is trying to build as much personal wealth as possible. So will I be buying stupid things like this in the future? Well, probably a little bit, but it will definitely be much more thought out rather than acting on impulse. For sure, nice cars. Um, we've, still got, we've got an Audi over here, which you know is very, very low end, but ultimately we do want a G63. We're gonna be getting one within the next year or so. So expensive designer goods, you know, nice cars like that can be good, can be admirational. Obviously, you need to reward yourself for your hard work, but just don't get sucked into the cycle of doing it on a routine basis. Don't be buying expensive clothes when you don't need to. You know, two pound top does exactly the same um, as a five, well, 700 pound Louis Vuitton top. You don't need that type of stuff, especially when you're just coming to Dubai. You want to be building wealth. You don't want to be that get sucked into the trap of having to be fashionable and get the latest clothes because it doesn't do anything for you and what you're trying to achieve. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know when you come to Dubai, did you get sucked in? I know many other people, they, they get scared of coming to Dubai because they don't want to get distracted from their business and their mission, building their wealth. You can do it, but you just need to stay focused and level-headed. That's my advice to anybody moving to Dubai, whether you've been here for a while or you're considering it, just stay focused on what you want to do and don't basically waste all of those tax savings that are being here on stuff that you don't need and doesn't help you build your wealth.